Okay, we're going to make chicken and dumplings pretty easy. We're going to start off with about a 12 quart pan filled with half full of water. We've got fresh chicken, about three pounds, ready to go. Put the chicken in the water. I'm going to bring the chicken to a rolling boil now. Cook the chicken thoroughly. This is Spot's favorite dish. He can't wait till it gets done. He can smell it already. Okay, our chicken's done. We're going to dice it up now. You can leave the chicken chunky style if you like it chunky. Or I prefer to shred it up, fork and knife or whatever. We're going to shred it up pretty easy there. Put the chicken back in the pot. We're going to add about three to four cans of store bought chicken broth is fine. Bring all, bring all this back to a rolling boil. Everything. Okay, bring to a rolling boil. Okay, bring to a rolling boil. Okay, today we're using these frozen store bought dumplings. They're just faster and easier. I like to break them in half as a rolling boil. Remember, it's hot, be careful, don't drop it so it splashes on you. Just gently slip them into the water. Place them around about. I'm going to put about two packages, two of these uh, 12 ounce packages of chicken dumplings in here. And so I like to break them in half to. So it don't really matter if they're even and all that are chunky. Just peel them apart and drop them in there. I'm going to keep continually stirring every now and then so they don't stick together. Drop them in one at a time, that way they don't stick together in a big old clump of dough in your stuff. Like that one won't It's best to keep these frozen until the time when you're ready to put them in. They're going to get messy. Okay, let's just say they just pop right apart. As you break them up, drop them in. Okay, we got all our dumplings in the mix now. We need to make sure and continually keep stirring here. No, just make sure they're not sticking to the sides or the bottom. Stir it up here. And one thing a lot of people do when they're making dumplings, they forget that basically you're cooking noodles here. You got to let it have time, just like you would spaghetti or any other type of pasta, to you know draw the water in. And since we're not making soup here, we're making dumplings. Dumplings are supposed to be thick. This is the trick to make them thick, like they're supposed to be. After you got your, I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. A little bit too much roll and roll bowl there. Simple little flour. Sprinkle it on top. Now it's gonna get clumpy a little bit. Don't worry about that. We're gonna put about two tablespoons on here. Yeah, big pot. Let's make it three. Put that in there. Need a little pepper in there. Pepper it up good, keep it rolling, keep it stirring. If it starts to boil over a little bit, you might need to back it off the burner just a hair. And so work that uh, flour you just put down in there. Usually I make a little bit bigger bowl of it here, so. Okay, and I said that's that clumpy flour is going to float on top. Don't worry about that. It will work its way in as it continues to boil. So just keep stirring, rolling it down. You see a big clump. I say so just crush it against the side of the pot there. Stir in the bottom continuously. That way, nothing's sticking to the bottom and burning. If you do have a dumpling that sticks to the bottom try to scrape it out because if you leave a burnt one in there it will make the whole pot stay burnt flavored okay, let's turn this down a little bit more here we can go down a low now it's pretty much it all it's going to do there okay just continue stirring there now I didn't put any salt in here because these 
chicken broth. It was a store-bought brand chicken broth, obviously. So there's a lot of salt in there already, but you do need pepper. So, you know, depending on how much you like pepper or you don't, salt it to your, pepper it to your taste. Let's say continue to work that in. Now with this plain flour, the dumplings you bought from the store and the chicken broth will already have salt in them. You can buy unsalted chicken broth, I believe. That way you can keep the sodium down. But since we put plain flour in here, we're going to need to put a little extra salt in here. Just put on the top there. Good measure. And I say you can probably see the clumps in the corners right here. Just take a spoon, crush them a little bit. You see what I'm doing there? Just crush them against the side. Just keep stirring. got to do a little waiting. I say just like any other pasta, it's got to soak up the water, or chicken broth in this case. You got to turn the burner down, turn down on low. We're going to go ahead and so scrape all the way around the sides, against the side, against the bottom, all the way down against the bottom, everything. If it's not thickening it up like you think it should, Give it just a minute, it will, but you can always add a little extra flour to it. I say just sprinkle it as thinly as you can across the top like a layer and it'll work itself in there. I like to use the flour to judge how much pepper I got in it because when I got the flour on there, I can see the pepper that I'm putting in. You see the layer of pepper on here now? That lets me see exactly how much I'm putting in here. Same way with salt, you do it after the pepper and you can see it on top there. I said then just work that in. It'll continue to thicken up. That way you end up have chicken and dumplings, not chicken noodle soup. That's the difference. All right. Got to turn down a little. We're going to set the lid on here. That's it, just a minute. 